As your president, I'm announcing tonight a new plan to require more Americans to be vaccinated to combat those blocking public health. Vaccine mandates, here we come. But that's good, right? He's just keeping us safe. Absolutely. What's a little inconvenience if it means saving lives? Hey, you listen here. You gotta get these boosters, okay? So we're announcing tonight that every single American will be taking the booster shot from a drone sniper directly into their homes. Your body, my choice. You got that, bucko? Drone sniper? <laughs> What's that mean? I think it means we have a president that isn't afraid to make hard decisions. Get. You piece of crap, Americans. Vaccinate for Pete's sake. We got this new booster that's like a like a gas, a seeping gas that'll, you know, creep through your floorboards and windowsills like some kind of bad dude. <coughs> How can people oppose this? I know. It's like... So the government wants to force us all to breathe in green gas against our will. You think you're going to abuse that power? Give me a break. Yeah, that's right, hombre. I'm still president and I'm still alive. But knock, knock, who's there? Robot hornets coming to your house to inject you with vaccines. All right, got that, Jack? Come on, coming at you. I mean, if the choice is between a 99% survival rate or robot hornets... I'm taking the robot hornets every time. How can people be so selfish as to oppose invasive robot hornets forcibly coming into your home and injecting you with a vaccine? How? How? Uh, these face huggers ain't so much hug your face, but rather ram a thick tube-like organ down your throat, pumping your stomach with good old Johnson & Johnson. That's the good one, right? Or was it Pfizer? Ah, uh, whatever. Listen up, you've been patient, and now we only got one more thing for you to do, and that's it. To beat COVID, we need each and every American to go and get your booster from your own personal super comfy vaccination pod. Okay? Well, I trust him. Sounds good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They want us to get in there? After all we've been through, it all led to this? Sounds good to me. Not an overreach of power at all. You got that right. Good thing those fascist Republicans aren't in power. Our patience is wearing thin, and your refusal has cost all of us. Wow, he means business. What a leader. Listen, you are a prisoner in the Matrix, but I've come to help you escape. Take this red pill, and you will be set free from a government that doesn't care about you and has no interest if you live or die. Take this blue pill, and you shall remain trapped here forever under their control. But the Democrats control, right? Give me the blue pill. Get out of our house, you magaloon. Hey, if you like that video, you can help us make more videos like that by joining the Babylon Bee YouTube channel for just $4.99 a month. Become an exclusive subscriber. You get videos, you get full-length podcasts that are often twice as long as the one that you've been seeing. Do it now. Smash the join button and you can become a member, a Bee Superfan, and you'll be a lot cooler than everyone else.